Oh my god, guys, is the world ending? What the heck? My goodness, my goodness. It is so windy. And then where we live, it's like extra windy. It's like extra windy here. So, yeah. Um, but good morning. Um, happy Wednesday. I am actually heading out to Beverly Hills. I am going to be working with Olaplex today. So they're going to be doing my hair, which I'm so excited about. Oh my God. And I am going to be late. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? I'm going to be like 15 minutes late. Why am I always late to everything in life? I need to work on myself. I really need to get my life together, girl, because... I cannot be doing this. I feel like this has been my life since I was like 15 years old. I kid you not. I was actually probably earlier than that. I was always late to everything. I was late to work. I was late to school. I was late to everything. Can you guys believe that I was actually late to my Wells Fargo interview? My Wells Fargo, ah, my Wells Fargo interview when I was first going to get hired as a teller. I was late to the interviewer to the interview view but because i am such a good interviewee i still got the job <laughs> but i need to work on myself <laughs> i really do so i have a 15 minute grace period so i might be able to get there faster if i drive faster but yeah, good morning guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my YouTube channel today. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette. If you guys are not new to my channel, welcome back. I am so excited to get blessed today. This is hence why I didn't do my pelito today because I'm gonna be getting my hair done up. I have been using Olaplex for quite some time now. So when they reached out to your girl saying they wanted to work with me, I was ecstatic. And I'm gonna get a treatment, so. A win is a win. A win is a win. Come on, sir. Really? Timed myself really well. But I don't know why I thought my appointment was at 11.30. And it was actually at 11. And I didn't see it until right now. So I was like sprinting out the fucking door. Trying to get out of my house. Pero para pinche love is blind. I had time for it, huh? <laughs> I always like to like watch something while I'm getting ready. So... That was my show of entertainment. But I'm going to drive to my location because I don't want to be super late. And you guys are distracting me. So <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get there. And I got here at 11.15 while well, I'm still pulling up. There is no reason why it should take me 10 minutes for one mile, bro. That's like the only thing that I hate about freaking LA. That I miss having everything be like 10-15 minutes away from me. <laughs> is there about late? I've become too comfortable with Valley, let me tell you, girl. Okay. Oop, 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 oop. I think it's in here. 89, 12. Oh, it's that little building. So where the fuck am I supposed to park, bro? No chingues. Where am I gonna park? Across the street. Look at Yes. Yeah, I, I'm Stephanie Chow's assistant. Okay. Yeah, you can park over here on this side. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my, she gets VIP, girl. <laughs> the fucking guy, I'm dead. The freaking guy, um, I think he works at the salon, because, but he was in valet. And I think he thought that I was expecting him to park my car because he ran inside, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Thank God I know how to park, girl, because the way life is set up out here. Okay. Whew. Okay, well, I just got here, guys. So let me go and I'll see you. How cute is this little spot? Hi. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's okay. 
Okay. Do you want coffee or anything? I'm okay. okay. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, actually, I forgot my pro camera at home today. Guys, they just did a um, they're doing my roots and then they're gonna be running a clear gloss through my hair. Right now I'm gonna get back, I'll have them explain exactly what they're doing. Okay guys, so we're with Chad. Hi everybody. And he's gonna just let you guys know what we're doing to my hair, but I'm super excited. We're with Olaplex as well, and he's gonna bless my hair today. I am doing my very best. I'm, we're doing a permanent color here on the roots um, so that it's nice and dark and permanent. I'm using a 10 volume developer for those of you that know hair color because I don't want to lift and we don't, she has no grays, so there's no sparkle to cover. Um, and then from here down, I'm going to do a gloss, an acid based gloss, so it seals the cuticle really well, creates a lot of shine, and we're going to keep it in that rich, dark family. Yes. And of course, I'm using Olaplex number one in my formulas and Someone's going home with a goodie bag full of Olaplex products. So. I know, I'm so excited. You're also gonna be doing a treatment, right? Like a full treatment. We're with... gonna do full treatments, yeah, oh. we'll cover all that. Perfect. So I'll bring you guys along and you guys can see the process. They just blow dried my hair, guys. Look how shiny it looks. I'm gonna go in for a cut and I'll show you guys the final result in just a few. Okay, I got my hair cut and styled and treated. Look how bomb my hair looks. He added a bunch of layers. I don't know if you guys can see the layers in my hair, but oh my god, it feels so amazing. So, so good. So, um, I got my hair done by Chad and they are here at All In. I believe that's the name of the studio. Um, so I got my hair done by him and then his assistant Stephanie, which you guys saw in the video, like kind of like jumping up, jumping in and out. And then Austin went in there and did the cut for me. And then his assistant, uh, Chad's assistant, Stephanie, she was the one who's kind of like jumping in and out. And Chad was amazing. He was an absolute sweetheart as well. So shout out to Olaplex for reaching out. And pampering your girl today because it was so good like i'm obsessed with my hair like where's my husband taking me out tonight where is he taking me out that's what i want to know but love 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 and now i'm gonna go get me some food so i will see you guys when i decide what i want to eat we just got home guys Hi. and this little Munchkin was sleeping and he just woke up. Mommy. Monday. Mommy. Mommy, I want to see the camera. Hi. <laughs> Should we eat outside? <laughs> Not really. Mila, what happened to your hair? Before I left, guys, her hair was done. No. I don't want. Mm. Well, babe, thank you. I'm sorry, my daughter didn't know feeding me. Sleeping. I know, baby. Hello, cutie pie. Hag, stop blocking him. Hi, cutie. Yeah, so I can shower you. If 
Why does Camila look just like me, bro? I have a picture that looks just like that. Mama, what picture do you think I got? She's mad. What, what picture do you think I got? I don't know. Let me see. So, what do you think it is? So, we're going to shower the kids. I'm right here. Ulises is working out. Love you. Mommy, I can't wear this tomorrow. You can't wear that tomorrow. Ah. Look at that for two friends. Mommy. What's up? I'll take this to your room. Hurry up. I can't wear this one tomorrow. Yes, come to your room. You want to shower? Say shower me, mommy. Shower. You little moquito. You little nasty butt. Mateo likes to just splash around right here. Hi! Hello! Okay, Mateo, wait for mommy, okay? Wait for mommy. Why are you doing that? I know I'd cry. I can never stop fake crying because then when you real cry for real, nobody's gonna believe you. Nothing on your face. Come on. They're pimples. You don't have pimples. Come here. Look. No, that's probably a mosquito bite. I had pimples. You don't have a pimple. I had a mosquito bite. Yes, it's a mosquito bite. You put cream. I'm gonna put cream. Look at that. Okay. What it? What it? Put these little munchkins to bed and I'll be right back. <laughs> Max and um, the kiddos are asleep. So I'm gonna just get my workout on. I'm probably just gonna run for like 30 minutes, do a mile, and then go shower and watch Chucky. Let's cut out of the shower. I'm gonna do my skincare. And I wanted to show you guys where my lips are at right now. They are paper thin. I haven't seen my lips this small since like 2013. <laughs> I haven't um, seen my lips this small in a really long time. Um, I want to say pretty much all of the filler is gone from my top lip. We only took my bottom lip down just a tiny bit. Because I am going to be filling them a little bit nothing crazy nothing like before but i do need a little bit of volume because i feel so weird i feel like my right here looks weird but i don't know you guys can tell me i'm probably crazy i feel like because after so long you're so used to seeing yourself a certain way and i definitely don't think the super ginormous looks 
are necessary but I definitely feel like they need a little bump. Kind of like when I first got them. If you guys remember when I first, first got my lips done, it was just like the right amount. But I don't think I could keep them this tiny. A lot of people have been asking me to like, you look different, you look different. So it's like making me feel even more insecure. And I'm like, like people say your lips are so big and then they're like your lips are so small <laughs> you look different so it's like i don't know if it's like a good different or a bad different because i'm all thrown my last book and i already know you guys are gonna ask me why i decided to just hold my lips and honestly the lip filler was so bad it was so migrated they were fine and then I decided to change from Juvederm to Restlin Kiss because the injector recommended it. And I really, really, really think that that's what caused um, so much of the migration. It just didn't set well with my lips. They were shapeless, like they were lopsided i naturally have a lopsided smile like if you guys see here when i'm talking like do you see how this side lifts a little bit more and also my smile like my actual teeth they go up on this side like when i had braces they told me that in order to correct that i would have to like have like jaw surgery where they were like like you know so i obviously said no so i naturally have like a little bit of a crooked smile but the lips looking that big, like being that big, made my lips look worse. Um, and like that made it look so much worse. And I was just like panicking. I didn't even want to, to come on camera because I already knew people were going to drag me. So I just decided to dissolve. And thank goodness my lips don't look super wrinkly either. Like, they don't look too bad. You guys are wondering why I look so different. And look how bad the bruising inside is. Oh my god, and it hurts so bad, guys, when you dissolve. Well, that's my skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. I have to go back before Mateo wakes up.